Here's some news you might have missed if you're not reading the Business Courier online every day. Northern Kentucky Congressman Jeff Davis had planned to end his eight years in Washington at the end of the year, but this week he announced he was moving things up to deal with a family illness. Davis resigned effective last Tuesday. A Kentucky special election to replace him could be held as early as September the 4th. The Federal Highway Administration announcing a $3.3 million grant to cover land acquisition for the Brent Spence Bridge Project. The grant among $363 million in proceeds announced last Thursday by the U.S. Transportation Secretary. OKI, the region's lead transportation planning agency, has identified the $2.4 billion bridge project as the region's top infrastructure priority. Say goodbye to a troubled wooden roller coaster at Kings Island. The park will remove the Son of Beast roller coaster to make room for future park expansion. Son of Beast was originally billed as the world's tallest, fastest, and only looping wooden roller coaster when it opened in 2000. Dismantling will begin later this summer. In 2006, 27 people reported being injured when a wooden beam on Son of Beast cracked from the weight of the roller coaster riders. The Cincinnati Bengals have extended head coach Marvin Lewis's contract through the 2014 season. Lewis had agreed to what was believed to be a two-year deal after the Bengals' 4-12 and season in 2010. Now it appears that contract has been extended through the 2014 season, according to the Bengals' website. Since going 9-7 and seven and making the playoffs last season, Bengals owner Mike Brown has locked up deals with the head coach, as well as the team's offensive and defensive coordinators. Accessing Facebook on your phone is big. Facebook's monthly active users who use the social network via mobile devices grew to 543 million in the quarter ending in June. The number of people who only access Facebook through a mobile device jumped by 23 percent. Regulators say the stat shows why it's so important that the social networking company figure out how to make money on mobile users and do that quickly.